Hi, I'm Chris Court and I've been designing, creating, building and tweaking Squarespace sites for years. In this video I'm going to show you step by step how to configure and use the Squarespace promotional pop-up. So the first thing we want to do when setting up the promotional pop-up is find it in the Squarespace navigation. So if we go down to settings and then down to marketing we'll find the promotional pop-up in the marketing section. The first thing we want to do uh, is change the layout or select the layout that we want. So I'm going to click on this button here, change layout, and this gives us several different options that Squarespace already have. The default has this kind of layout. This kind of uh, dark grey area up the top indicates where we can have an image. Uh, different options here, this one is without an image. Again, image to the left hand side. Uh, and this one has a lot of a background image. If we scroll down a little bit further we have some less uh, obtrusive ones that are popping up in the bottom right and again this one pops up on the bottom of the screen. These ones are kind of full screen. I've got a couple of full screen ones. This is with an image overlay underneath it and again with an image on the left hand side. Do be a little bit careful with um, having full screen pop-ups. Uh, it is thought that Google will penalize your site um, if it's difficult for mobile phones in particular to get to the content. I'm going to choose a fairly standard option here. Uh, so it pops up in the middle of the screen, it's got the message on the right, the image on the left. So once I've changed that, I'm going to click save and then click back to the promotional pop-up main screen. The next part of setting up the promotional pop-up within Squarespace is giving the visitor an action to perform on the pop-up. We do this by clicking on the action button here. Once in the action panel you can see we've got two different options here, either to sign up for a newsletter or to click a button. If we're doing the click a button we can have up to two buttons here and once we start entering the text you can see that they appear on the right hand side. Depending on what the text is and what we want them to do, we have some different options if we click here. The first one is a URL, usually an external URL which we can open in a new window. The second one is a page, a page on our site. If we click on here, we can select a particular page and send them to a particular page on our website, not one click of a button. We can get them to download a file, a particular piece of value add, a PDF, something we want to give them for free. Uh, by selecting either a new file that we upload now or an existing file on the system. The fourth option is email. If we click on here, we can have one click send us an email. We have the two and the subject. And we have some advanced options here of the BCC and we can add a bit of body text in there as well. The final option is to make a phone call. If we click on this, we can see we can put in a phone number right in there. And one click on that on a mobile phone will put it through to us. Um, and if it's on a desktop they'll need some integration with Skype. The second option we've got here is to sign up for a newsletter. If I click on that you can see we can integrate with MailChimp or Google Drive and we can change the button text and also the post submit message so once they've signed up, click signed up, they get a message here. I tend to add a little bit more to this so uh, they're not left at a bit of a dead end. Um, so I like to put in a little message here and we can link these with, for example, if we had Why Not See Our Latest Projects, we can link it to a page on our site, and again, our latest blog as well. It just leaves them kind of uh, not in so much of a dead end, and they can uh, get around our site a little bit easier. I'm just going to connect this to my uh, MailChimp account. Um, what you do is you log on, and it lets us select a list. So once we've logged into the account, it should come up with a little list here. We select the list we want, and then once we've finished, we've selected our action, we click Save. Once that's all saved away, click the promotional pop-up, and that'll take us back to the front screen. To change the text on our promotional pop-up, we use the Content button here. Once in the content button it gives us the ability to change the headline and the body text. It's free text and we can put in other, bold, italic and links if we want. 
but please be aware that if we want to change this, make it nice, short, sweet and snappy, otherwise you might start getting scrolling sections on mobile phones. Once you've changed the text and you're happy with what it's going to say, then we click the save button up here, and then go back to our promotional pop-up main panel. Setting up how and when the promotional pop-up will appear to your visitors is one of the most important aspects of the pop-up. We do this through the display and timing button here. Once we're on the display and timing control panel, we've got various options of where, when and how often the pop-up will appear. The first part is where it's going to show us. The default is any first page, so any visitor visiting your site, when they hit any page, it'll show it to them regardless. If we click on here we've got an option of showing it only on certain pages, so depending on what your pop-up says you might want to say, for example, I'm going to drop that down, these are the pages on my website, I only wanted to show on the projects and partners page. Timing, another important aspect. We can show it on a timer or on a scroll. If we select show on timer we've got some default options here of 5, 10, 30 seconds or immediately. Pull down here we've got show on a scroll, so when they scroll 25% down your website web page, it'll show it to them. We can increase that to 50 or 75% down the page. A third option here is we've got show on timer and a scroll. So either after 5 seconds or after they've scrolled 25% down my web page, I'm going to show them my, my pop-up. The final option we've got down here is frequency, how often they get to see it. Usually we don't get it setting up to uh, show straight away the next day, but the default is 30 days, or one or two weeks, or never again, depending on what your message is and how if you want them to sign up. Again, if we've got an option here as if it's a newsletter, you might you don't want them to sign up um, to the newsletter more than once, so once they've seen it, they're either going to sign up or they're not, and they'll never see it again. Show on mobile, we can switch it off on a mobile phone, which is uh, sometimes a good good thing to do. Uh, as I said previously, Google doesn't like uh, pop-ups on mobile phones. Anything that's getting in way of the content and the user experience, Google won't like that. The last part here is a reset. So depending on the frequency we've set here, whether it's the 30 days, one or two weeks, we can actually reset to that to show it to them immediately next time they come to the page again. Um, that'll be for if you change the purpose of the, uh, the pop-up from, uh, from a mailing list to a promotion, or you change the promotion, or you would want it to show them again for another reason. So once you've set your parameters here, if you click on the Save button, that saves the parameters away, and we click on the promotional pop-up, and that takes us back to the main control panel. Adding images to our promotional pop-up is a way of making it really eye-catching and, and visually appealing. We do that through the Image tab. This brings us up to an area where we can either click on and add images in, or as I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag and drop an image in there. And you see, at the moment, Squarespace uploads it and brings it into this area here. If we add more than one image into here, It'll uh, create a little slideshow, so I'm going to add a couple more images in here, just random images I've got here, and it creates a slideshow that'll scroll through and makes the uh, that makes it look appealing and attractive for people to sign up. When, in the next section, we we'll go through styling and we can change how this looks a little bit more. But that's how you add images to your promotional pop-up. Once you've done that, it's automatically saved. So we just click the promotional pop-up up here, and this takes us back to the main control panel. The final part of setting up the promotional pop-up within Squarespace is to customise the style. This lets us set the fonts and colours, style the email address box, style the buttons, and choose how visitors dismiss and close the pop-up. To access this control panel, we scroll down to the bottom and click the style button. This loads up the style control panel, and after a few seconds we can see that we get different sections down there that allow us to style different parts of the uh, pop-up box headline font and color this is this area here as well as the body text here we can change the font and color and how that looks the background is an interesting this isn't the background of the box here this is actually the background behind it so I'll demonstrate that just by changing the hue of the color behind it so when the box pops up it'll put the uh, background color over the actual web page again this is where we can change the color behind the text and I'll just show you an example there 
how that works. There's a few little other items here that are of interest. The auto overlay colour, so we can put an overlay over the image. You can see it pop to change there. And again, this is where we can style the bot button, so with the different font, the different style it is, uh, and the shape it is. These are all fairly standard Squarespace options. On the newsletter style, we can determine how the layout is, if it's stacked or whether it's uh, uh, in line. Uh, again, whether the outline of the input design is an outline or whether it's underlined, the font and the input field background and any text colour. The close button here, this is the close button up here that we can determine whether it's where it's located and how it works. Um, and some interesting features under overlay design, if we click on advanced layout options and click enable, this is where it uh, lets us be a little bit more interactive with the uh, format. So for example, the content width here, we can actually make it a little bit wider. Um, we can set the padding, uh, the headline spacing, and the action spacing as well. So we've got a lot more flexibility. Once we're happy with that, we just go back up to the top and click Save. Once that's saved away, that's, that'll be how it'll look when it pops up onto someone's screen. And by clicking the promotional pop-up button at the top here, it takes us back to the main control panel. When you're ready to enable your pop-up, switch the toggle at the top of the promotional pop-up panel to on. To disable the pop-up, switch the toggle to off. The disabled pop-up keeps all the settings intact until you're ready to enable it again. Once it's enabled, then you're off. I really hope you found this video useful and easy to follow. If you'd like more Squarespace step-by-step -step videos, subscribe to my channel or join the All Things Squarespace Facebook group for videos and more.